Hey love it, scale okay, grand rising. It's your girl Clementine from Big Empress Energy. I'm sending you beautiful, bountiful blessings. Stay open to receiving them. Mm, mm, mm. Miss Amor, it's your girl Clementine. I record energy and people to build. Oh, and this is our collective horoscope. We're gonna find out what our angels, our ancestors, and our spirit guides want us to know right now. Okay, whenever you're seeing this reading, okay. If you are live with me, holler back. Thank you so much for being here. Let me know how you feeling, how you doing today. If you're watching the replay, please comment, say hola, comment a be emoji, okay? Show your presses up in this building. It is Mercury Day, okay? Thank you for, so much for the badges. I truly appreciate it, okay? It's a good way to start out, okay? Speaking of abundance, tempo over your life, okay? You can also tip it, my cash app, or buy me a coffee. I appreciate the energy exchange. Always speaking of abundance, infinity, bow over yo. Okay, you can also share the reading on your stories. Tell a friend about me. There's multiple ways to support. Okay. Um. So let's tap in, my loves. Okay. Today is Mercury Day. Mercury Day is a great day for communication. So it's a great day to go live. It's a great day to write. It's a great day to pick up a phone and call a friend. Okay. Um. Mercury Day, one of my favorite days as a Gemini rising. Okay, it's a Gemini day. It's a Gemini Virgo Virgo day. Okay, so shout out to all y'all placements. I'm seeing a lot of yellow energy in my in the aura for today. Okay, so let's pray. Spirit guides calling upon the angels, ancestors, spirit guides, our higher self for the messages that we need to hear right now for our highest and our best. Okay. Um, Spirit, thank you for allowing me to delivering the messages. <laughs> thank you so much for the truth, clarity, and insight. Ashe, Ashe, everybody. Okay, so yeah, a lot of yellow. This is the solar plexus chakra. Some people could also be feeling like they need to make a, make a decision, okay? You need to make a decision. Should I stay? Should I go? Should I do this? Should I not? Like, who can help me? Okay, really remembering our personal power, really needing to stand out, have our voices heard, have our selves be seen, okay, with this energy of the yellow might want to be as well getting sunflowers, all right, I'm also seeing mail, somebody could be getting something in the mail today they've been waiting for, or maybe you're shipping out something, you need to send out some mail, okay, um, as well, in a yellow envelope, you know, the manila envelopes, okay, I heard testing, testing, one, two, three, okay? Somebody could be testing, testing your patience, okay? Testing your patience, or you could be trying to practice for something. Remember, like studying your lines, remembering your lines, okay? <sighs> There's a, a heavy energy of like study, of studying, okay? Um, and this season, mira! Look at me, okay? The sun card, and I talk about the solar plexus to start out their reading. And sunflowers, okay? Some of us need to go out in the sun, all right? Even if it's a cloudy day, the sun is always out, yeah, okay? It's just science. You can still um, connect with the sun even on a cloudy day, even if it's raining outside. The sun, I'm also seeing almost a light at the end of a tunnel, focusing on the light um, at the end of a tunnel. What that means is that you're not getting... Um, like bothered by the little things, okay? You're focusing on almost the bigger picture and the why you're doing something. Sometimes, you know, you have a long journey ahead of you. There's so many annoying tasks and things and tribulations that you're gonna have to go through, but you have to remember why you're doing it. What's the light at the end of the tunnel? What's you gonna get out of this? Sometimes it's just a good feeling, just to feel good about yourself. Sometimes it's so you can make forward motion and progress on a goal. Sometimes it's so you can help build up your legacy, okay? Two, two, two people in here, okay? Yes, the sun card. Some of us here, if we need to make a decision, we have to say yes, okay? Then we have the ten of swords. This is like one of the cutest ten of swords ever. Get into it. Very cute ten of swords. I'm using the Twisted Tarot Tales deck from tarotcollectibles.com. That's where I get most of my tarot decks. Ten of swords, okay? Ten of swords as our challenge. A lot of us here, this is a Gemini placement too. Okay, when I did my tarot school, I studied all the tarot cards and their astrological associations and the Ten of Swords is Sun and Gemini. We need to get that tarot school back popping, but I digress. 
the Ten of Swords. Some people feeling like could we get feeling like backstabbed by people there's gossip going on all right there's people who want to talk somebody also could be talking about your child okay or your child could have a fight that's coming in now a, a more random message but someone's child could be having fights or like bullying school or something or it's like moms fighting i don't know okay but that's what i was seeing in my eye when we have this set of swords too as a challenge i feel like people really need to tend to their mental health okay really need to tend to your mental health by sh the sun shining a light on all sides even your shadow sides okay because listen we're in scorpio season all right and scorpio season is all about shadow the shadow side it's all about on un unveiling revealing the truth it's about you know spiritual communication it's about getting back to spiritual basics okay um water signs or water seasons are always going to be very emotional they're also going to be very spiritual so a lot of us here could be you know exploring or expanding our spirituality in some way okay if you've been if you've fallen off if you've gone astray if you you know haven't been focusing as much energy on your spirituality you might start back again in scorpio season Okay, especially this weekend is going to be a potent time to pray, to sit at your altars, to sit in silence. It's a good weekend to not go out, to not be mixy, to just chill. Okay, and even if you do go out and be mixy, have a balance of your time that you chill with your ancestors, your angels, your spirit guides, your higher self. Um, if you had anybody who's passed away this year, they also could be going to the next realm as well in this in this season so you might want to pray for them light a candle for them anyone that you've had in your life that has passed or your community then we have the tower card coming in this scorpio season is a doozy okay what i see with this tower card and the sun card something that we really need to happen um is finally happening and it's going to be shocking people some of you guys are going to be having shocking news hearing shocking news okay the tower card systems corrupt systems falling apart all right um as well as what i'm seeing with this energy with the tower card we could be having very unexpected emotional roller coasters we're going through things that weren't meant to last things that were not sustainable finally crashing there could be black like blackouts okay with this energy or needing to kind of like i'm seeing like someone going into isolation okay really going into isolation with this energy of the tower card some of you guys whatever this tower moment is when when it hits you you're going to feel so extremely attached your mind is going to be racing you're going to have a lot of I'm seeing this a lot of like anxiety, okay? Eight of swords in the reverse. Spirit's asking us to stop self-sabotaging, to allow these challenges to change us. We have the justice card as our challenge, needing to trust here in the divine time and also divine justice. That means that you don't have to go and collect your karma, okay? We got your spirit team, your ancestors, Archangel Michael coming in, okay, to go after these this justice if some some people i'm seeing too they had a fight with somebody or they having um a challenge with somebody or something and you're going to be seeing why so it's like don't beat yourself up about it okay another thing what i'm seeing is that when we see our shadow side we might want to hide okay i'm seeing this ace of wands and it really looks like a shadow side someone coming into their shadow side now let's get into it what is a shadow side this is not just the things that you know, maybe you want to work on, okay? Your shadow side, like for instance, you know, for, for me, it might be, okay, I want to go and I want to do, you know, yoga every day, but I don't do yoga every day. That's not a shadow side. That's not what I'm talking about, a shadow side. Talking about a shadow side is like when you're talking to somebody and you, you know, what the things that you're saying, you don't realize like how you're trying to maybe manipulate them or how you're trying to like control them. Or if someone or something doesn't do exactly what you wanted to, how you react, how you respond, how you feel triggered, how you try to kind of like control a situation. Okay. I'm talking, your shadow side is something that you don't see. You know, when you don't go up, wake up and do yoga, you know, it, it's not, it's not, it's not something, it's not hidden. It's not like, Oh, I don't know that I have to be in more of my routine. You know, what your shadow side sneaks up 
okay? From the side, you don't realize, damn, I'm manipulating someone. I'm gaslighting someone. I'm not being honest with them or myself, okay? That's a shadow side. And when it hits, it hits, baby. It, 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 you feel it. You feel that, you know, am I crazy? Yes, baby. You're crazy, baby. But we're all mad here. We're all mad here. Alice, don't worry about it, okay? You're crazy, but you're still lovable, okay? You're, you, you know, you're crazy, but you could still learn. You could grow. You could expand, okay? You're, you know, you could be crazy, but I don't define you, baby, okay? So it's about realizing those things in you, those things that maybe you're not proud of, those things that you don't see. It's easy to point the blame at somebody else. It's easy to say, oh, they didn't do this. They were mean. They were this. But what did you do, boo? Yo ass is shicey too. I want everybody to know it's okay. <laughs> it's okay to be crazy too. But just realize that about you. So that when it have when your when your crazy start to pop up again, you witness it, you see it, and you're like, you know what? It don't feel good to go into that mode. So I'm going to incorporate all the tools I use in my spirituality. I'm going to pray. I'm going to breathe. I'm going to be still. I'm going to take a time out, okay? That's why we build up spiritual stamina. So that when we have our shadow and we have our triggers and we have Scorpio season, we can fall back on the basics. We can fall back on knowing that there's a bigger picture. There's a bigger lesson in this. What is this trying to teach you at this point? Ace of Wands, new beginnings here, okay? Also things getting very fiery, very feisty, very hot. Very hot. I see someone changing their mental... Um, their thoughts or their mental anxiety with action. So you have anxiety about doing something, just do it. Don't think about it. Your anxiety comes from thinking about it. Are you going to have anxiety if you just do it? Just do it. Wheel of Fortune coming out as our energy. Wheel of Fortune, things are shifting, things are changing. We have the Wheel of Fortune and we have the Tower and we have the Sun card. This is a very unexpected change with something that we've been wanting, something we've been praying for. Maybe something you didn't think was ever going to happen for you, boo, okay? You ain't think this was ever going to happen for you, boo. Congratulations, though. We have Wheel of Fortune. This is someone changing their path, closing a karmic door, especially with the Ace of Wands. And the wands are creative, so you could be feeling like more creative. The wands are very spiritual as well, so maybe something creative or spiritual that helps you to shift, to change, to open up that next chapter, to change in your own... Uh, um, what I'm seeing is karma, okay? Changing your own karma by changing your attitude. Damn, okay? This is the definition of we're all mad here, okay? We're all mad here. So with spiders, I'm seeing the Eight of Swords, and in this, it, it has a spider. I'm so, like, excited. I'm so excited through these readings. Okay, Eight of Swords, the spider. What I see with the spider, someone's caught in a web in their own mind, okay? You've been telling stories. You've been telling tales. Your mind been weaving together things, jumping to conclusions, okay? So what spider web kind of like have you been sucked into? Another thing what I feel like with, with this spider energy is, again, that writing. Someone really needs to write, maybe write a story, write in your journal, write to vent, okay? Write to explore, write to reflect. And then we have the chariot cards. People, be very careful on the road, okay? People could have road rage as well uh, with this energy because it's coming up as our challenge. People could have challenges with their car or with getting to point A to point B, okay? Um, that's what I'm seeing with this energy. The chariot card. And the strength card. Oh, cha. Okay. Feeling triggered. Everything we just talked about. Feeling triggered, but with the chariot card, we're still moving forward. We're still able to multitask and manage, okay, what is going on. But slow down, especially with this tower card. I'm seeing, but, but basically what I'm seeing is like a lot of um, shops, surprises, startling news coming up in the next couple of days. 
in our personal or could be also the world okay as well um the sun card shining a light everything on our shadow wheel of fortune changing like i told you this season things will never be the same again strength card in the reverse a lot of people here not being challenged to see how strong you are not physically spiritually emotionally okay what have you learned in this year okay um, bringing everything back to balance. The zodiac signs I have on the table. We have Cancer. We have Leo. We have Libra. We have Leo again. Okay, because we have the sun and the strength. We have the tower. That's Mars. We have Jupiter. Okay, as well in terms of planets. What I say, someone needs to check their mail. And I pulled Gypsy Oracle. We have letter. Someone needs to check their mail. Or send out some mail, baby. We got journey. I talked about a journey too today. It's like when you're going on your own journey, you're going on your own path. And we have a widower. Someone's at the grave. Someone's visiting their dead. Someone's praying to their dead. Someone is uh, mourning maybe as well their past life. Not their past life. Their life in this one, but like your changes. You've grown. You've evolved. Scorpio season, you're in your new skin. So you're saying RIP to the O me with that energy. And then we have foe in the reverse. Foe is a fake ass person. Okay, so some of you guys here could be seeing like, oh, who's real, who's not, who's fake and who's not. A lot of this fake energy is going to be exposed in Scorpio season. No one's going to be able to hide. No one's going to be able to manipulate. You're going to see people for who they really are. Are you ready to? That's the tower moment. Okay, that could be a tower moment. A tower moment is when something gets destroyed, when something falls apart because it wasn't meant to be in the first place. Journey and widower. Some people here. Are, are are trying to let go of old habits that that phrase old habits die hard is what's coming to me some of you guys need to write a letter some of you guys had a falling out with someone maybe you don't want to talk to them but you need to vent maybe you need to write a letter to them and burn it not necessarily give it to them but write it and burn it because they don't deserve your time they don't deserve knowing that they got your time because you do it for you to express for yourself. Express yourself, okay? Surrender to passion and surrender to the beauty of the natural world. The passion is that ace of wands following that spark, that joy, that creativity, feeding that seed in you, okay? That's what this energy is about. Getting out of your head and getting into the passion. Focusing on the people, activities that ignite your passion, letting it flow. Some people need to go out into nature. Like I say, get some air going to the sun. Take a relaxing break. Spend time in nature. Replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and ecstasy in that beach. Hey, bo. Hey, bo. What's popping with you? Oh, pull a card. We got it. Don't be afraid to slow down. Don't be afraid to slow down. And I said that this is what, um, I said that this is what, Mercury retrograde had taught me to slow down. When we slow down, we notice um, our shadow side. We notice our mistakes. We notice where we've been sloppy. We notice where we can um, grow. We notice a lot. Slow down. Okay, take a easy. This says rest is absolutely necessary. Grinding yourself to the ground is absolutely not. It's okay to move slowly at your own pace. Looking cute and docile, maybe hanging from a tree be more sloth okay so with that energy here really taking the time to just smell the roses to be grateful and everything like that what i'm seeing with that rest too is like slow your mind down maybe you had your body's busy maybe you know you had to clean a lot maybe you gotta you know run here run there run there it's okay you gotta do what you gotta do don't be like oh, i can't rest because i have to do this 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 and this and this you can still rest your mind when you catch yourself feeling that anxiety, feeling like you have to rush, feeling like you have a million things. Slow down in your mind and your body will follow. Yes. Wow. We got Kali and experience. A lot of us are experienced death. Kali is that goddess of destruction, very tied to the tower card, very tied to Scorpio season. Okay, Kali, goddess of rebirth and transformation. So we're all going through this collective rebirth, this collective transformation. Allow yourself to slow down, to really be in your new skin that you are 
forming at this time. And then we have experience. Let yourself grow, embrace your knowledge, apply it, improve it, okay? Let yourself grow, expand. Like I said, we're going to be studying a lot. We're going to be learning a lot in this season. Um, not necessarily about the books, but I see more about our spirituality, okay? Or about our soul and how we're very expansive. We're not who we thought we were two years ago, three years ago. Thank you, guys. I got 18 badges. Thank you so much, every single body. Every single body watching. Thank you. So you can find this info over your life. You. Something. Mm, this incense got my nose shot. Be still. Be still. Be still. Meditate. Okay, take that time out to reconnect with your own spirituality at this time. Rest, slow down. Back to my yoga thing I'm talking about, savasana. Okay, slow down, just lay down, just rest, be easy. Write a gratitude list. I said it's a great day to write. Some of you guys don't know what to write. Write what you're grateful for. Write what you're grateful for. Write thank you, God. And make an altar. I told y'all asses to sit at your altar this week. It's going to be one of the most potent weeks to be, to chill, to communicate with spirit. That's it. Okay? That's all I got for you. Thank you all for watching. I truly appreciate it. Okay? If the reading resonates with you, you can always share this uh, reading comment. Okay? Um, you can also tip it my cash app or buy me a coffee. I appreciate the energy exchange. Just speaking of abundance and fold over your life. Okay? I'm going to be spending the rest of the day. I'm trying to catch up on my private readings I have because I've had some crazy times. I've had a crazy month but i'm finally catching up on my private readings i'm gonna do that today it's mercury day it's a good day to connect to sit with spirit to channel these messages for my private clients um you cannot book a private reading with me but hopefully when i finish all these i'll open my books up again okay we're gonna do a reiki for the new moon in escorpio it's next week on friday it's not on my website yet but it will be um and that's what i got for you guys we're shipping out the protect your neck pre-orders thank you all for selling them out before the reiki even popped off okay i love you i'm so excited to see you guys receive it okay um and everything like that i love you all so much take care of yourself and others i'm praying for your protection for your peace for your prosperity i'm praying for your ancestors and your children i love you boy